friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. We're back from tour. Yes, we ooh, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. What a time we I had. Burped. We had a time last Boy, night. Boy, we had a time last Hell night. Hell yeah, girl. Get, get your, your tits, tits out. out. That was you guys to us, you freaks. That was me to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> if it is, if it works, why not do it? If it ain't broke, don't change it. <laughs> what are we even talking about? Dude, tour was so fun. It was awesome. Huge blast in a glass. In our last episode, I had mentioned, like, I'm like, we're filming this from the future, but I'm sure it went well. Yeah. And boy, did it. Boy, did it. Boy, did it. So many of you came, like, out of state, which I thought was so wild. It was incredible. And we met so many cuties, and it was just the best time ever. It was really. such a blast. It was so much fun. Every night was so different, mm-hmm. but all equally amazing. And you guys were a fucking blast. I like know. so much fun, such good energy. I think that we were reaffirmed even further that like y'all are just the fucking best. Like the community that we've built is really the wild, yeah. Really strong and very loving and mm-hmm. open. And it's just the best. I would also say too that it affirms that we have the best family and team possible too. That like too. It was just such a it wasn't seamless, but it was a machine of sorts. It was seamless to y'all. Yeah. Like that's what matters. Like <laughs> just because every night was different. But everything went so well though. Yeah, like we e- even behind issues. the scenes. Like everything went really, really well. Um we have the best team in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we had the best touring team. I know. And cause me and Dason, obviously we share a team, we share a manager and we share an agent. So we, and Billy does too. <laughs> he's all, he's also PP is also <laughs> represented by the Who same the people. That? Um, but it's been a fucking time. It was so much fun. And so many of you were like, I didn't know you were going on tour. Pay closer attention. Why don't you? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, some fan. I'm Aww. just kidding. Uh, but most of you, I think, were just like you were. You remembered, but then you forgot, and then we told y'all. But a lot of you, honestly, just don't live in California. So we talked about uh, potentially going on a bigger tour. Hopefully, we will. We'll keep you updated. If you want to know about that, you got to make sure to follow us and stay close to the fire. To, yeah, <laughs> stay close. <laughs> Uh, I think if you just stay close to us, you'll know for sure. Like when, and if that happens, if, and when that happens, I think it will. I just don't know when. Yeah. So hopefully Oops. this year, of Ho- sorts. hopefully, yeah. hopefully if it is, it'll be like end of this year, early next year. But like, hopefully that happens because it was so much fun and we're going to do it bigger and better and even more awesome next time. But thank you all for those of you that came. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts that all of you brought us. I know we put one of them here. Someone came to the San Diego. Oh yeah. Show. My big coffee mugs in the way. And she gave it. us these little squishies that are, she said a duo for my favorite duo and it's pancakes and syrup. Which one do you think you are? The syrup. Cause it's tall. No, I was going to say pancakes. You give off syrup vibes. for You sure. can't eat pancakes. There's eggs in there. I can't eat syrup either. Bitch. I so can't then, serve either. Okay, well, then I I'm guess I get to choose. Who's <laughs> who? It should have been an avocado and a piece of toast. <laughs> Why? Because I can eat that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Because you love toast and I love avocados. A lot. I love avocado toast, too. That's fire. That sounds so good. That does sound mm, fire flames. Right Ooh. Ooh. But you guys never have to bring us anything, but so many of you did. None of you brought me a smooch. It was kind of weird. Um, (laughs) They not for lack of trying. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Some of you were wild out there. Yeah, I think uh, it's it was so because a lot of people asked me how tour went like, um, you know, in work and personal life when Mm -hmm. we came home. And I was like, it was everything that I thought it could be and more like it was it it far exceeded my expectations. Um, As a true Virgo, I always want to do the best at everything. But it was truly just so much more uh, amazing than I ever could have thought. But I had said, like, someone asked me what was the best part of tour. 
Mm. And I said, um, getting to hear you guys laugh in real life. Yeah. Like getting to make the jokes and, and hear you guys like engage. Like we make each other laugh all the time. Yeah. I mean, and personally, I find myself very I funny. I am pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but hearing you guys laugh out loud at the jokes was like surreal. Super Such cool. a crazy, cool yeah. feeling. And so many of you loved my playlist. It was awesome sauce. She was fire. <laughs> I... Honestly, what's funny is I already had that playlist made. I just added more songs to it, but yeah. like I already had it made. But our tour manager is like, it just needs to be like maybe an hour long. And she's like, okay. And she checked and she's like, it's four hours long. Is that okay? It actually like, ended up being five. So. so he was like, I mean, I guess. He's like, yeah, yeah. My favorite part of every good. night was somehow English love, love Affair would always play. Is that what it's called? The, <laughs> yeah, my five songs. Out of all the songs, that one always What a play. great one. I don't know. Spotify loves that one. My favorite part of every night was me always asking our manager Phil if he was going to tell me when to walk <laughs> and, and every night he go yeah because it always would seem like he was going to leave <laughs> and I'm like before you leave are you going to tell us and he goes yeah Joe, I'm going to tell you the third night he goes every night <laughs> I'm going to tell you and she was like okay just and then the last ask. night on San Francisco when we did it I go it's just I was like mm-hmm. for old time's sake yeah. four for four huh <laughs> Um, gotta get one last razz in there one last giggle but very fun tour was amazing incredible we're so happy we got to see so many of you and meet so many of you and you're amazing and the next tour will be even more fun so we're looking forward to it hopefully cross country yes so we can collect every else everyone else that didn't get a chance to come to California. I want to go to New Zealand because the women are so pretty there. <laughs> I know. I've been saying forever to, we wanted to do an Australia, New Zealand tour. Um, I have like a huge fan base down there, I know. which is awesome. And also, I want everyone on the sevens, New Zealand team, women's team. To line up. Me. Line up. Two of them are married to each other. I'm all, gosh, dang it. What does it feel like to live my dream? <laughs> Literally every time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh thank you all for those of you that came I know. thank you to those of you that supported us just like just y'all like engaging with us our tour content in general even if you weren't there we appreciate you it we means a lot thank you so every much. single one of you we love you we're very excited to be back be back and continue back staging. in the stew back in the stew cooking it up so we're excited to be here can i ask you a question sure are those the hot cheeto popcorn puffs no, that that's just puffs. Did She's, you like the popcorn puffs? I haven't tried it yet. You have to report back. It's still in someone my. Someone said they. I saw someone write they sell them in like wherever they live. I'm all. We found them in California somewhere, so it's definitely. Available. Oh, like hot popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Like that was in one of the venues. It was San Francisco. You freaks. They they bought. Well, no, the writer. Like the thing that they supply. No, I, I know. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were t- calling them freaks. No. <laughs> yeah, they they're they, all bean freaks in my head. Really. Yeah. One of my uh, requests for the writer. Well, my mom made it for us, but one of them she put on there was hot Cheeto puffs because that's like my hyperfixation. And the best chip. part was every venue trying to see seeing what their interpretation of of hot, hot Cheeto, Cheeto puffs. puffs was, and it was always just hot Cheetos. <laughs> Two of the four though got puffs. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I think the only ones that didn't was San, San Diego. And San Francisco. Yeah. The but gay, LA and Anaheim. The gays, they were out in San Diego. Let's go, lesbians. Let's, that's what I was That's how I felt <laughs> a little hurt. Let's go, Thought lesbians. The gays were going to be in San Francisco, but more of them were in San Diego for sure. They were everywhere, which we love and we stand. We were so excited. Yeah. And I think that um, we were even more excited to meet you all in person. A lot of you guys, a lot of y'all, honestly, we recognize from. Uh, your handles, like when you comment on yeah, our stuff all the time. That so, was really cool getting to see. Yeah, yeah getting to meet y'all in person. I know. And the way that so many of y'all remember so many things, like someone in San Francisco brought us a big box of maple bars. I know. Because she remembered that that's our favorite donut. She's like, I know they're not vegan. I was like, don't worry. I had a little bit of a nibble backstage. Yeah, I had a bite and then my whole family ate the rest of them. Donovan ate And two. Adam <laughs> ate two each. <laughs> uh, don't but ever pull that shit again I was so upset I was like damn it when I went back because I wanted to have one and they were all and gone after show treats but gone. that's just how fire they were yeah, so thank bomb. you so much you guys are so funny and amazing I'm so happy tour went so well so I think 
I think, yeah, like we, we, no, we have mentioned that we wanted to do a national tour before. So Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, before we went on this tour. Yeah. So hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. We're very excited. We'll see. Yeah. But we're going to continue our bits for this episode. Yeah. This episode, we're doing part two of bits that you do with your family and friends. Y'all loved that episode. It came out really funny. It was so funny. I listened to it too. Uh, Billy and Jared were fired up that their bits made a cameo. <laughs> I saw the <laughs> the post yesterday about the what's the charge? Like you found the whole video. It's so funny because it's absurd. Like it's fucking stupid. It's just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what a ridiculous circumstance and video to populate your for you page yeah. so consistently that you start saying that as a as a bit. That's insane. Ridiculous. But I'm sure there's way more bits where that came from. Okay. We can't think of any more from ours. I, I feel like whenever I read these, they inspire me and remind me yeah. of different ones. Well, another one I thought of, which we've already talked about, was That's Piss. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We say that one a lot. When they're like, what is that? And then we go, That's Piss. And you have to yell it at the top of your Whatever voice. it is. It doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't have to be piss for you to scream that. But if it is, it's even funnier. Even funnier. Yeah. Okay, this first one's from Kendra, and she said, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. So yeah. we do that one a lot, too. Well, that's too damn bad. Yeah. She said, literally, any time I have any sort of minor inconvenience or have to do something for too long, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's from Lisa. Mm-hmm. She said, whenever a celebrity couple breaks up, I always comment, love is dead. <laughs> It's from a vine when Avril Lavigne and that guy from Nickelback broke up and the guy who made the vine put love is dead on the mirror. <laughs> no matter what. The world is healing. You just always put love is dead. <laughs> even if even if you don't give a shit about that couple at all. You have to. It's a bit that you're committed to. That's so funny. I love that. This next one's from Allison. She said that her and her brother, they do. This is a load of barnacles. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> who said that? That's our favorite one. We already talked about that one, but that's our favorite if one. If I'm going to promote anything on this fucking podcast other than how much I love beans, it's, <laughs> I think you should leave. Dude. That's who my, said that? Who said that? And then he tried to roll down the hat down his arm like Fred, like Fred Astaire. Astaire. And I swear to fucking God, he tried to roll <laughs> the hat down his arm like Fred Astaire. <laughs> Do any of these little, little fuckers. <laughs> Somehow our wires got crossed. I saw one of you comment that on the last episode, and that's literally the joke. That's the part I always say today. So oh I God, feel like dude. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Yeah, the this is a load of barnacles. That's a good one. That's a good one. And she yeah. says, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> What are other TikTok sounds we're obsessed with right now? Those are bits. We just Hell said, yeah, girl. Get your tits get out. Get your tits out. And then Drew said, matter of fact. Matter of fact, where's everybody from? He's <laughs> 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 like, you put those well, in front of me. Back. I got my Skittles in front of me. They're, They're gone. gone. <laughs> The that one in the today I saw the moon. Yeah. I see that one a lot lately. What's the hell yeah, girl? Get your tits out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Matter of fact, where's everybody from? Matter of fact. That's my favorite comment to see when there's like, like a group of people and, and you find them all attractive and you open the comments and it says, Matter of fact, <laughs> where's, where's everybody, everybody from? <laughs> <laughs> there's this same group of masked lesbians they're all white of course i don't know where they're from but they mm-hmm. film like like videos to, like thrift shops together um or like transition videos uh-huh. and i so always see people write that on there matter of fact where's everybody from that's a strange thing to do <sighs> it, it is like to it is. get together to film that kind of content i think that about like i think it's like a high pass too. type thing yeah, yeah i think that about the men too it's like it's a strange thing to want to do together. Yeah. It's a strange bonding activity to want to have. <laughs> you know what I mean? This one's funny. This one's from Zach. He said, one of my best friends and I have been quoting Kristen Wiig's Liza Minnelli. 
um, impression oh, yeah. where I just saw Teffy post this video on, I think on Twitter, but it's the skit where she's trying to turn off a lamp. Yeah. And she's dancing. Yeah. And yeah. Jonah Hill's in it. I don't know if he's playing her husband or something. Yeah, he is. Um, do, do we have any SNL ones? I can't think of any. Yeah, we do. We have that one. She's like, don't make me dance. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Don't one. make me dance. <laughs> All right. I'll dance. <laughs> Give me a number. She's all started on this key. Thank you. Good thing I brought my, I didn't bring my shoes. Yeah, my he was like, don't, make shoes. Me, don't make me, don't make me play. I didn't bring all my tools. And he look and he has the suitcase of all his tools. <laughs> That's one of our favorite ones. Yeah. That one. Hey, where'd you get that? That one too from uh, the Target lady. Yeah. Hey, where'd you get that? Approved. <laughs> that one. Yeah. That's a big one. Look, you look like a giant's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that one in the, uh, a skit that we always reference, but we, there's, it's not necessarily quotable. I wouldn't say is, uh, the one with Taylor Lautner when he's trying to take his picture dude for the NFL. Yeah. For like Super Bowl Sunday or something. It's like for the combine or yeah. something. They're like trying to record. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. And then he keeps like going, <laughs> he, he like puts his head all the way up. Cause he tells him, why don't you just look up and smile? <laughs> like he keeps having to do it over and over again. <laughs> 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 that's a good one one of the ones that i remember so like every time i think of snl skits is like the debbie downer skit that's like yeah. a really popular one where she's like it's official i can't have children <laughs> you know what that reminds me of 9 11 yeah <laughs> dude no 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 none of you want to talk about 9 11 none of you want to talk about 9 11 that's All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break with our friends at ZocDoc. So I personally don't really enjoy uh, booking my doctor's appointments because it always takes too long and it's really scary. But I'm also like way too old to have my mom make my appointments. So I'm super excited that we're partnering with ZocDoc. So ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. I really, really love the patient review portion because it reminds me of Amazon where I always read the reviews before I buy anything because I want to make sure that I'm buying something that fits my needs. It also reminds me of, I don't know if in college, if it, this still exists, so it existed when I went to college where they did um, like rate my professor. So you could see if their teaching style is, you know, going to fit the way that you learn. Very similar with ZocDoc. I want to make sure the doctors that I'm booking, especially as a woman, fit my needs and I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. So make sure you go to ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash two idiot girls. ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. This one's from Brooke. She said, my fiance and I go through phases where we'll randomly imitate the sound that Travis Scott made when he fell off the stage in autotune. <laughs> We're just like, it's like, sounds like a cat almost. This one's from Laura. She said, I don't know if this is more embarrassing for me or an actual bit, but when I was young, one of my grandfathers died. So after that, every time I saw my other grandfather, I called him my not dead grandpa. And still 20 years later, that joke holds up with everyone in my family. <laughs> That's funny. This one's from KJ. She said, ever since I started listening to Drew, I've been telling everyone, go lie to your mom. It's perfect and tells people you know that they're lying. Oh, period, bitch. Yeah. This one's from Mia. She said, me and my family are obsessed with Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And there's a scene where Rowley is holding onto Roderick by his leg. And Roderick goes, get off me, you fat baby hippo. <laughs> <laughs> she said her and her sister say that to each other all the time. I was trying to think of one that... Me and Billy do. Hell yeah, girl. Get your tits out. <laughs> Show us your boobs. Show us your boobs. Fuck. I saw something yesterday that I was like, I want to reference that all the time, but I feel like nobody ever. <laughs> well, I thought of this one. We were saying this on tour a lot. Like if me and Jason were feeling a little bit nervous before we would go on the stage, we'd be like, you're covered in nuts. <laughs> Does anyone remember that <laughs> from the heat? You're having a bad dream. You're covered in nuts. <laughs> like, like it's stupid. For literally she no reason. She says that right before we walk out on our first stage <laughs> in San Diego. I'm like so nervous. And she goes, you're covered in nuts. And I'm all, what? And then Phil's all, time to go. <laughs> I'm all, what the fuck was that? I was all, I'll tell you after. 
Okay, this one's from Piper. She said, this is a bit my friends and I do. Whenever any of us face even the smallest inconvenience, we sigh deeply and say, well, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest shoulders and shake our heads. And they always say, also always say stuff like, oh my God, you're so strong. <laughs> and I believe in you. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so funny. I posted one that said the, it was like a tweet that said, I always whisper women in STEM to myself when I do something even remotely. I hard. say that all the time. Yeah. Anytime, anything with technology, I'm like, women in STEM, support them. <laughs> support them. Women in STEM. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to tell you guys. Dude, years ago. God, I don't even remember how old he was. I think my brother was like, how old is he? Like 14? Mm, he might have been like 13. There's, think, yeah, yeah, like he's like around that age. He said he wanted to do stand up, right? Like he's like, I think I want to do stand up because this is when he started watching The Office. And mm -hmm. he was like, comedy is my passion. Comedy is my, my heart. Comedy is my goal. And he's telling my mom, like, I want to do stand up. My mom's yeah. like, well, stand up's not easy. My mom's like telling him, like, remember when I told y'all that no one can hurt my fucking feelings because my mom is so real. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, like if, if I were to ever want to pursue something and I sucked, she would tell me because yeah. she loves me and she cares about me <laughs> that it goes across the board for all of us. So like she goes, okay, well comedy is not easy. You know what I mean? It's like an art form. It's not just like being funny. It's like a whole process. It's like, yeah. you know, and he was like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. And, uh, you're talking to someone who's studied comedy. So I think I would know in the sense that he's just, he watches funny shows and he laughs. So my mom goes, okay, well let's see it. Like, how did that start? No, what happened was because my brother's 13. Yeah. He got a spam email from America's got talent. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but my, what no, I said so, is what happened before. No, but I'm like, saying, so, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He gets the email and he texts us. We're all at work. Cause we used to yeah. work with our mom. He's like, oh my gosh, mommy, you'll never believe it. America's Got Talent reached out to me <laughs> to audition. So I want to do stand up. And she's like, okay. So we come home. He's like, remember I told you I want to, I want to do comedy. Yeah. And so that's what, why he practiced his routine in front of us. So my mom goes, okay. And I don't know why I wasn't there. I think I was up with Billy. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't home and he like Jason was texting me and telling me he's going to practice his, his routine. routine. And yeah. I said, please record it so I can see it. <laughs> this video is a prized possession of my family. Like yeah. when I tell you, I've never been more grateful for technology <laughs> than in that very moment because I got to see it. <laughs> my sister recorded it. And we always reference things that he said as like bits. I like, know, but I, we shouldn't. <laughs> Why? You think so? Okay, go ahead. Well, not the whole thing. Yeah. We just like reference things he said. Like one of them was like, <laughs> he was talking about the office in the stand up routine. Yeah. Uh, and then he's just like, if you don't think it's funny, you can go out there and get yourselves lives. <laughs> And he goes, because that is the funniest show in all of comedy. And my point shall stand. <laughs> Anyways, Michael Scott thinks he's a good boss. <laughs> uh, Do good bosses like to waste time? <laughs> uh, Stupid things like, and then my mom cuts them off. My mom goes, "This is what, this is another thing that we quote." Pause. <laughs> Pause. Is this stand up or is this a summary of The Office? You got to tell jokes. You got to be funny. She's like, as if he, he wasn't she goes, trying to be. <laughs> He said, you got to tell jokes. And then, dude, my mom starts giving him feedback. <laughs> <laughs> my brother does not take criticism well, not even a little bit. And he, I can say that because I didn't he either. He is such a cancer man, dude. You dude, can't beat that out. <laughs> the way that, like, 
he just cannot handle criticism in a sense that you tell him and then he's like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, he's just so like, okay. Like, and which is a, I guess a good thing to an extent is like confidence. the confidence unwavered. You yeah. know what I mean? But like in the middle of the video, <laughs> like after, when he's getting the feedback, he's like, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't, he doesn't believe that he wasn't killing it. Like he's like, I brought the house down and yeah. I don't give a fuck I think what he was you also, say. He's probably embarrassed a little bit. Well, he's a baby. Like, he's, yeah. he's a baby. But like my sister goes, what about these? Like, Oh no, I said, do you want to try? I said, what are those? Yeah. Like, what, are these part of your act? And he had laid out a bunch of stuffed animals and the mom goes, no, that's the audience. <laughs> and then I go, do you want to try again? She goes, no, you should practice. more. <laughs> So holy fuck! While she's giving him criticism, he sits down on like a recliner chair. (laughs) The way he sits on it, the face he's making is so funny. Because he's pissed, like he doesn't want to hear it. He's like, "You don't know what the fuck you're talking about." Like he's like, "Dude, holy shit." We we reference that all the time. Like every year it comes up on my Google photos <laughs> as a reminder. I have to happy anniversary to my favorite. Literally video. the other day, the like two days ago, <laughs> I was looking through my old videos and I found <laughs> and we watched the whole thing. I laugh like it's the first time I've ever I seen know. it. It's just so fucking funny. It's such like sibling <laughs> shit to like record that. <laughs> Was it, did you watch that Chris Olsen video where he goes, if you were this sibling that was forced to perform or loved to perform in front of everyone, not only are you gay now, but you're also mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, when you're little, you, like, don't care. Like, did you watch the TikTok I seen of that girl? She was She's doing her magic show. And, well, not only that one, she's all, clap. When yeah, because nobody applauded. No, it was this other girl. I sent it to you today. Where she was playing, like, she, like, her family was, like, on a road trip and they stopped in Nashville. So they went to the mall. And she said in that mall, they had this little kiosk or this store that would like let you record you singing a song. So it was her singing Good Morning Baltimore from Hairspray. <laughs> Great song. And she said, like, so it's her playing it and her mom like dancing behind the computer. And she said, and I'm pretty sure it had an option, like from what I remember, where you could play it in the whole mall when you're done recording it. So guess what option I picked? <laughs> But she's and it's so bad. And she's like, it also, I was taking full time singing lessons during this. What a waste of time. But she said one time her mom, I don't know how, but she recorded I'm a believer, I think, or something like that. Okay. And she said she played it in the car for her mom, and her mom was laughing so hard that she started <laughs> crying. <laughs> and she said it made her so upset. <laughs> That's just part of your rite of passage as a child I feel like because I mean me and Jason are old so like there's not much footage of us when we were in those creative stages like there is like my mom recorded and took pictures of everything but there's not lots of like there's no iPhone recordings Mm -hmm. or anything like that but um the wonderful thing about that is that my mom has always encouraged us to try anything that we want to try yeah she's just not gonna lie to us if we're not good Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> and so my point shall stand. So uh, <laughs> that's called timing. So you pause for a, a giggle. <laughs> Dude, the way that she's like, no, that's the audience. Because he laid out You gotta tell jokes. You gotta be funny. You gotta tell jokes. And then he's just like <laughs> just staring blankly because but the the best part about that is that it did not waver him not even a little no. like he he hears that and he goes you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> like, you don't understand my art you don't get it L- listen art is up for interpretation so and you're interpreting it wrong yeah what may be funny to one person may not necessarily be funny to you Cause so just because you don't get it that's not my problem yeah <laughs> so my problem. that's on you kind of so that's the funniest part about that. Like he got pissed off because he was convinced he was killing it. Yeah. So that's all that matters. And honestly he was, cause I was laughing. So 
<laughs> it was a comedy. I laughed. Of sorts. It, it yeah. was for sure. Jokes were told. That's for sure. <laughs> they really were. But that's a, a video that my family and I. <laughs> Every time I remember it, it, like brings me so much joy. <laughs> Because he's just so little in it. And then while he's talking, he's like using his shirt to wipe his nose. Like little kid shit. You know what I mean? Like, dude, unbelievable. Like, oh my God, dude. It's just the confidence is unwavering. And that's the part that I I literally giggle so hard. I start crying. Like when I first watched that video, I had never experienced laughter like that in my entire (laughs) life. Like. Oh man! It's truly, um, yeah. The like, way I was so life, great- lives were changed that day. The way I was so grateful for camera phones in that moment. <laughs> Do you know that meme where they take like scenes from movies and they go, "The director said we only have one more shot." And yes. she said, "I'm gonna take it to the top." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like they said take five, but she heard change lives. <laughs> That's how I felt watching on a stand-up routine. <laughs> Dude, come Holy on! Holy fuck! So funny unbelievable Uh, i have a headache now that made me laugh so hard so funny dude (laughs) this next one (laughs) this next one's from gracie she said when there's a silence with my best friend one of us will say are we about to kiss it doesn't matter if we're around other people or just the two of us (laughs) that's a great one i used to have a best friend in college her name was harley and we would every time there was an awkward silence we would pretend to kiss each other and it made me laugh every single time we did it until one time we almost did and i was like we can't do that anymore when the bit goes too far went too far we uh when we went to nashville last year um, <laughs> oh, yeah. we went with uh sarah, sarah baska and christelle and um two like absolute sweethearts obsessed with both some of the them. funniest people i've ever met in yeah, my life truly yeah um they are both just as funny if not funnier in real life yeah. and uh our our other friends um too because we all work together on tinder stuff and we went to bonnaroo together so when we were driving up to Bonnaroo, we were in our like little bus and we were driving up and uh, someone was getting, I think like they were leaving the festival. Like they, I think they like got too hot and then they like were, were being escorted out and we were like, oh my God, how scary. Right. Mm. And we're like, oh, and it was like kind of awkward, like this awkward silence. And then Christelle goes, shots. <laughs> she goes, oh my God, I'm scared. Yeah. Shots. <laughs> and that became our bit all weekend. All weekend. Anytime there was any sort of awkward silence. Oh my God, I'm scared. We'd be like, guys, shots. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's mad or upset, yeah. shots. Sorry. Shots. <laughs> and we carry that bit to this day. We still say that like when it's weird or awkward or you're in an extremely professional setting. Yeah. And there's like a pause and you're like, shots. shots? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. This next one's from. I you. thought of another one. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear This is also from a vine. Um, if everyone remembers nut, I think that was her name. We've mentioned this bit before. Yeah. It's oh, the, one. I don't remember. I was probably fucked up. Yeah. What was it like when you were born? Yeah. She goes, <laughs> I don't remember. I was probably fucked up, but me and Adam say that about everything. Like yeah. when you can't remember anything, <laughs> you're like, I don't remember. I was probably fucked up. <laughs> Dude, we were, Literally anything. Yeah. I don't remember. I was probably fucked up. When we were getting ready to go to tour, I text because we were texting what time to meet at the house and yeah. whatever to get on the road. I text Adam separately. I'm all, they did, were too embarrassed to tell you this, but they said to make sure you come in your own car because everyone hates you. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you shut your fire crotch ass up. <laughs> He said, when I see you, he's like, I'm going to fuck you up when I see you. He's like, it's on site, fire crotch. <laughs> That's why I posted that TikTok of of uh, Aubrey Plaza talking to that reporter that she yeah. loves. I was like, this is literally my entire relationship with Adam. Like, yeah. we're so fucking mean to each other for no reason <sighs> because it's funny. And like whenever like, oh, this is another bit that we do specifically with Adam, but with a lot of people, I, I'm very careful about this because I don't want them to take it seriously. Jim, but everyone is dying of a sir. I'm with my family, please. Oh, yeah. Sir, please, please. God, please. I just want to be treated like everybody else. I just feel like an <laughs> animal when you treat me like this. You're just so dramatic and they're not even looking at you. It's just <laughs> It's like, oh, God, here we go. This again, huh? 
I know it's me. I know it's me. Um, no, there was like, whenever like Adam says something, Oh wait, this is another one that <laughs> it's tied to something I did to you too. But, um, like let's say everyone's talking and then Adam says something and nobody responds. <laughs> I just go, that was so embarrassing. I know I do it too. I was like really embarrassing. What just happened to yeah, you? I know. That's so embarrassing. Are you embarrassed? I would be. <laughs> and he's always like, shut up. <laughs> no, what I was thinking about when we were in the meeting. <laughs> We were in the early stages of talking about tour and we were on a meeting like we were all with our team. Yeah. yeah, with our team. And we were talking and Jason said, like, what about this? Right. And then uh, everyone was like, well, we probably not because this is not like they weren't being rude at all. No. But they just kept giving her more and more reasons why that's not a viable thing we could do. Yeah. And then she was sitting on camera and she was going. I was like, fine. I didn't even care. I was just like, oh, okay. It's I know. Idea. I know you don't care, but like, I was dying because I could tell you were like, okay, like, I get it. <laughs> you could have just said no and moved on. <laughs> and she's no, going, I didn't tell them what you did. She's on camera and she's going like this. She's like, she's like smiling with her mouth closed. You know that like tight smile you do? Yeah. And then, tell jokes. And, <laughs> and then I literally text her and I go, yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> And I saw her read my message and go, like, she literally was like, she wanted to laugh. <laughs> because I was like, what a stupid fucking question. Dude. And then our manager was like, because we were both, because it was clear I was laughing. <laughs> so I was like, so. I was laughing at my own joke. Like, I just. <laughs> so, like, so funny to think, like, because I know she wasn't embarrassed at all, but it would be so funny if you were. And then I was like, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> like, don't ever ask a question like that again, you fucking idiot. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Phil, our manager, goes, What's so funny, guys? What are we laughing at? <laughs> and I told her, I was like, yeah, text Jason. Yeah, you fucking idiot. And then I said, I was like, that's why I don't like to unmute and talk on meetings. <laughs> this is why I don't like to be on camera. Oh my God. Dude. Our friends are going to take a quick little break with our friends at Manscaped. So breaking news, our friends at Manscaped are now selling beard products just in time for Valentine's Day. That's right. The leaders in men's below the waist grooming are once again revolutionizing the men's hygiene game with their new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. No one likes a weird beard. That's that's true. That's not not true. So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble. Tame his mane this Valentine's. Save 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com and using code 2 idiot girls. So for me, as a gay, I don't really think about men a lot, but when I do think of men, I would like to imagine that they have good hygiene and a good beard. That maybe that's important to some people. And if I did like men, I think it would be important to me too. I was super excited when they sent me the beard hedger because I don't have a beard and I'm not dating anyone who has a beard, but my dad has a beard and he needs to you know, maintain it. I don't understand the science behind it, but he was so excited when I gave it to him. So when the Beard Hedger Pro Kit came in, he was so excited because it comes with a beard shampoo and conditioner. I would never think that you need to do that to your facial hair, you know? It also came with a beard oil, a beard balm, and it came with a brush, comb, scissors to ensure he has all the tools for a perfect beard. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code 2 idiot girls at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code two idiot girls there you'll find the manscaped beard hedger one stroke one guard 20 links now back to the episode okay this one's from bex she said my siblings and i always change each other's netflix profile pictures to stupid <laughs> characters and then change the profile name to something dumb for example my brother changed my my sister's <laughs> profile picture to the boss baby and then renamed her shart stain <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that reminds me of when I got an HBO Max account. Yeah. I gave Drew the login and she was like, go check what my name is on there. <laughs> hey, I think someone added an account to your HBO. Do you know this person? <laughs> my name on her HBO to this day is Joe Mama. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I should make it Hugh Ass. Or Seymour Butts. <laughs> or Seymour Butts. Yeah. That's a great one. <laughs> Do we have any Curtis Connor bits? He's in here quite a bit, which is pretty funny. Mm. 
Like this one's from Samaya. She said that her and her brothers love Curtis Connor. And their absolute favorite video of his is his review of the movie Homeless for the Holidays. <laughs> and she said there's a part in the movie where the main character tells his son to be normal. And we quote that constantly. For example, my brother picks out a horrendous outfit. My mom says, can't you pick a normal outfit? And then immediately my other brother and I will say be normal because of the way they say it in the movie. Oh, funny. Curtis. OK, <laughs> Curtis, again, is just as funny uh, in person. I've granted, I've only met him over zoom, but could be obviously because he's Canadian, but, um, he's just as funny in real life, him and his beautiful wife, Jenna, I adore them. Um, but I think, uh, my favorite Curtis Connor video of all time it's a, is um, the cowboy, um, thirst trap one, thirst trap one, like <laughs> The TikTok one, because at that point I hadn't really been on TikTok, so I had no idea what was on there. Yeah. Um, that video made me laugh so hard I started crying and I sent it to Dace and I said, You have to watch this. Because yeah. before that, I knew Curtis was on Vine, but I had no idea he had a YouTube and that yeah. just came on my uh recommended one day. So I watched it and I was like, This is unbelievably it's still, funny. Like if you watch it now, yeah, it's to this still day. Really funny. Yeah, it's, that hat is so on that guy's head. <laughs> yeah, we say that in like the bluish <laughs> jeans of all time. Like he, Curtis is, Kurt, part of the reason why I feel like Curtis is unbelievably funny is because his humor is not predicated around like any sort of like punching down in any way. Yeah. Like it's all sillies and like just the most ridiculous kind of humor. And that's like my favorite kind of humor. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's why as soon as I saw that video, I was locked in bitch. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, this guy is so funny. Like, and I loved him on vine too. I thought he was so funny on vine. So getting to, uh, make a video with him was like, crazy yeah, that's so that full really circle because cool. he him finding me funny i think and uh is a very very high compliment so i take that as a compliment that was also the first thing you did that billy was excited about yeah yeah he, he doesn't really know a lot of internet people i mean now he does but now time, he does yeah but at the time he knew no one and he was like that's crazy because no he no way yeah. well when we would watch youtube on the tv he'd be like does curtis connor have any new videos yeah because he's just so funny I I, his humor is just unbelievable so fucking funny um but yeah that that hat is so on that guy's head that's when we say all the time <laughs> we say that a lot <laughs> one of the things that he does a lot in his videos that billy thought was super funny too is he always used that minecraft oof yeah yeah like he billy used to think that was so funny because <laughs> we don't play minecraft yeah, i didn't so even know what it was from we had no idea but um that was another little effect that he is so funny this one's from geo um she said that one of her when one of her best friends visited her their bit for the week was saying right right from the lady in that tiktok who goes have you ever had a crispy cream right 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 <laughs> I've seen a lot of vines in here. Like I thought you were a Malican. That one's in here a lot. Dason says that a lot because Dason's gay. So. What? What? Um. <laughs> that's that's another bit that Dason does. Like, cause I like we've told y'all. Like she'll call me or I'll call her like fifty times a day. Yeah. Whether it's on Facetime or uh, on speakerphone, and like just that as a courtesy. I don't know if any of you have ever. Um, done this i'm sure most of you do but like if she's ever on speaker and like billy's there i'll tell her like hey billy's here by the way or if adam's there because adam's always here too like she's i'm like hey adam's here by the way she'll always go what <laughs> are you kidding me take me off yeah she's like can i have the room please we say that too <laughs> if someone's like rude to you or like you feel like someone's disrespected you or you feel disrespected in any room. We're like, can I have the room please? <laughs> but like, it'll be like, I'm at Drew's show <laughs> and I get embarrassed. I'm like, can I have the room as if I'm not, wor I'm working or anything. Or like I'm in a busy restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> can I have the room please? Or you say, yeah, that shit you pulled back there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever let it happen again. 
This is next one's from Alexa. She said, when our mom isn't paying attention to us or she can't hear us, we say, Grandpa, pass the milk. That was one of Dason's bits for the longest yeah, time. Yeah, because that grandpa in Freaky Friday is, is literally ours. our grandpa. And the way that the little boy acts is how my brother acted. <laughs> like, consistently irritating the, the fuck of out of him. Yeah. Dude, one time my brother, he had a Nintendo DS. <laughs> and, you know... He was like beefing with my grandpa. He was just like, my grandpa would do stuff to like annoy him because he's my grandpa. He's just yeah, like it's funny. like silly shit. And so my brother had like, you know, in your DS, you have like notes or something in there. When they added the ones where you could like write. Yeah. And he wrote grandpa is a nitwit like over and over again on like a hundred different pages. And he was like, give it back to me. When Dason was like, what is this? This is another uh, bit that my grandpa and my brother gave us that I heard. <laughs> But we were like, they were at my parents' house is years ago. And like the thing with my brother and my grandpa is they fight like their brothers. So like, that's what makes it funny is yeah. because like my brother irritates the fuck out of my grandpa and vice versa. And it's like so hilarious to watch. So like they were having a heated discussion, right? <laughs> and my brother's a fucking, a few poco or like a know-it-all. Mm -hmm. So like, it's annoying. <laughs> and my grandpa... I, this is the part of the conversation I came in on, right? Like I, I tuned in, I'm walking past him and I hear him go, Hey, Hey, you can, we can have this talk, but I'm still your grandpa at the end of the day. You have to talk to me with respect. And then my brother goes, okay, I'm sorry. And then there's like a, a pause. And then my grandpa goes, what other ice cream flavors are not that good? I'm all, what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck were you guys talking about? Dude. They got in such a heated discussion that my brother like <laughs> went too far and my grandpa felt disrespected. He called probably called him a nitwit to his face. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Danica. She said after Drew told the story of the guy grunting when he throws trash, I make it a point to grunt really loud when I throw something. <laughs> Which is really funny. We always do that. Me and Daisy used to do that when we would play um when the we was like sweeping the oh, nation dude. and we would, you know, we sports, like we would always play tennis. That was like our favorite one. But like every time we do it, we'd be like, you have to, you have to play though. Like you're actually playing yeah, tennis and yell like you. So are. we would like scream really loud and like, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, especially serving. Like, you know, you do it like that and you're like, ah, when you hit it. <laughs> We would do it so often and so loud that my mom would be like, all right, that's it. You guys are done. <laughs> We're all fucking sweaty. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, dude. That was a bit forever. We would do that. <laughs> this one's from Sammy. She said, whenever one of my friends starts talking directly to me, I turn around and act like I'm trying to figure out who they're talking to. <laughs> when they're talking about her. They're like, you're talking to me. Yeah. And she's going. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's funny. This is from Kata. She said she discovered two idiot girls from the episode we did with two hot takes. Love. And she thought it was really funny. And now she makes her boyfriend listen to it. And now they always call each other Tony Pizza or Pizza <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> pizza Pizza. <laughs> Piece of Pizza or Pizza Pizza. Yeah. And she said he also calls me Sewer Foot in reference to Sewer Meat from that same episode. Remember she was saying he called her like Sewer Meat and a bunch of different things and then settled on Tony Pizza. That's one of those things where he that boyfriend sounds like someone who it makes him laugh harder when you the more you hate yeah. it so if you like lean in it's not nearly as fun I for can't them imagine being mad at that it would annoy me but like that's what the only reason i can relate is because billy does things like that yeah because he knows that it's it's silly it's harmless but it annoys me yeah and he thinks that's funny so that's why i've learned like to just ignore it yeah. Like sometimes Billy. Okay. This is a bit that Billy does. Sometimes he wants to like yell for no reason. Yeah, we talked about it and I said, it's a zoomies. <laughs> yeah. That's his, that's his version of zoomies, but he'll literally tell me like, I really want to yell right now. <laughs> when I go, go in there and close the door. Sometimes I tell him come in the office and, and yell. 
And he's like, it's not the same. I'm like, that's because you want to scare me. Yeah. Because it makes him laugh. That's my point. Yeah. That's why sometimes when he yells, it makes me so angry. Like in the car, it makes yeah. me so One time angry. I yelled in the car because I was really excited and Drew got mad at me. I hate it. I hate the scream. I hate loud noises in enclosed spaces. I don't mind if I make the loud noises, but I don't like when people are. I never do shit like that because I hate it. Yeah. Dason likes to do it and not have it be done to her. Billy yeah. doesn't care either way. <laughs> so you can imagine the hell I live in. <laughs> Did we say that That's one a good Adam? one. Yeah. Oh, this is one. Okay. When we were in New York <laughs> for a black Adam, um, we, uh, wanted to partake in the devil's lettuce and Billy and I, and we couldn't find any. So we like went to this dispensary that only, wait, I don't like this one. It's all part of it, which, <laughs> um, anyways, we wanted to, but they didn't have any. So we went to this CBD place and she said, this is the girl told us, this is the closest thing that we have to but that. It won't be the same, that's but it's not said. the same. Yeah. And we were like, okay, that's fine. Like we could try it. It mm -hmm. was like the fanciest looking thing like it was like wrapped in red cloth like mm -hmm. it was like super fancy so we take it and we go and we and we <laughs> we all took a hit like me Dason and um Billy and like we took I took a hit Billy took a hit and then Dason took a hit I I can say this confidently I don't know what the fuck was in that thing but it was not CBD no. like I've done CBD I've done THC that was a psychedelic. Like that was something else. Like I felt like I was hallucinating on that thing. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that was, but we were like <laughs> immediately. I'm like, uh Oh, right. Cause I'm like, damn, this is crazy. And my sister at the time, like she never really did that ever. So no, I still don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, no, I know. But yeah. I'm saying like, especially then like never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we all took, she took one hit. And we still to this day debate on what she did, but I know what I saw. <laughs> she turned around, like turned her back to us. Mind you, we're standing in a circle, right? She turned her back to us and she like put her arms out, like, like out to like pointed, like flexed her wrists, like out to the side. I did not. And she went like this. She went <laughs> for like half a second. <laughs> No, I didn't. She did that. And then she turned around and looked at me as if she didn't just do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. And when she turned and looked at me, I go, what the fuck was that? And then she was like, what? Like she was pretending like she didn't <laughs> do that. I said, dude, are you good? And she goes, yeah, we should go out or something. I'm all, what? <laughs> like Literally such an exaggerator. No, it's That's not. That's not what I did. Adam vouched for me. <laughs> Adam literally said he saw you do that. And when we were talking about it, Adam goes, that's like she put the mask on her face like Jim Carrey and was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. So now sometimes- Both of you are liars. This is another bit. Like when we're like excited, I'll turn on, I'll go, huh? I didn't do that. When I feel like I'm in a in a crazy, like when I have my zoomies, <sighs> I turn around and I go, <gasps> that's not what I did, <laughs> fuckers. Okay, what did you do then? I went, woo. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato, bitch. I know what I saw. And I remember being like. And then, and then she's like, why don't you want to get high at my house? I'm all because you judged me. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Bro, it was the fact that she was talking so normal and then she turned her back to me and she goes, huh? and she thought no one was going to see her. That's the part that's unbelievable to me. It's not that you did it. It's that you tried to gaslight me after I saw you do it. I started to go, what the fuck was that? She goes, what? I and should I have go, said, I thought this was a safe space. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. That's me expressing myself. Clearly, I'm not allowed to do Clearly that here. I shouldn't have done that. Dude, that's why I was dying. Back we into the closet I go. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to the rooms and like uh, we were on like Adam and Dason's room were on the same floor and me and Billy were on the floor above them. And I told Adam, I was like, walk this bitch to her fucking room. I want to make sure she's okay. 
<laughs> and he was like, cause we were trying to walk her. She goes, I can go by myself. I can go by myself. But that's cause all their shit was in our room. Yeah. So then um, when they all came and got it, I told Adam, I was like, please walk that bitch to her fucking <laughs> room. Make sure she goes inside and the door closes. <laughs> and Adam's like, no, I know. And they were right next to each other yeah. anyways. But I was like, what the fuck? And then like, as I'm telling Adam, like, can you just make sure she gets in there? He's like, yeah. Uh, he turns around. She's fucking gone. Like she took her suitcases and she was already walking to the I elevator. I didn't realize one of the wheels had gotten shoved up it. So it was harder to pull. So I was like, just fucking sprinting with it to make it stop. <laughs> Dude, when we were on tour, <laughs> walking to the first stop, we, we stayed really close to the venue. So we, we just had to walk. That like, was my favorite hotel. I loved that. Hotel. I love that hotel too. It was so great. Um, we walked like, we had to walk, like it's like a four minute walk. That was so fun. I love. Yeah. That. So when we were walking there, um, to like do sound check and stuff, uh, I was walking with Adam and he was walking <laughs> slow because his shit was so heavy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, can, can you please give me one of those bags? I had a bag too. And he was like, no, no, I got it. And he goes, I just don't, why are these streets so bumpy? What are these cobblestones? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, <laughs> we kept making that joke. Like what are these cobblestones? Cause it was so like, like bumpy. <laughs> and then he's like, where are we going? Jerusalem. <laughs> Bro. Dude, whenever it's hot, because Adam runs a little kind of hot. Oh my god. Like, yeah. It feels like hell in here. <laughs> he did that in my hotel room one time. He came in and he goes, turn the air on. It feels like hell in here. So we say that. <laughs> what are these cobblestones? That's why I tell you, when Adam's Adam is one of the funniest people I've ever I met. I know, dude. Oh my god. He is one of the funniest like like literally if you ever get the chance to like be friends with Adam, like you're so lucky because he is unbelievably <laughs> we funny. Him, we took him to VidCon and they had this like Snapchat. Oh lounge. yeah. And then, I thought about that joke too. It had a DJ, but like no one was out there. Like a little part, DJ. A, part of the reason why we get along so well with Adam is because we find the same things funny. Yeah. Like like the sit like the most like cringy, uncomfortable things yeah. like we find hilarious. So, and he does too. Yeah. So at, we, we were walking around VidCon, like looking at all the booths and everything. And Adam was with us and Snapchat had this big like activation and like, like a whole outdoor area. Yeah. And they had this big DJ and he was playing music super fucking loud and there was nobody dancing because or anything. It was so hot. Yeah, it was there. hot. It was outside. So it was really fucking hot. So nobody was like, nobody was dancing. And we were like, what if I just went over there and started dancing my ass I'm off the only one by myself, like just dancing, like my life depends on it. And then Adam was like, what if I was just grooving and I was just making eye contact <laughs> with, with, the DJ? with the DJ the whole time. And he was like, <laughs> like dancing, like sexy. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Uh, he kept saying that too. When we went, they had another lounge for Instagram and you got to get like croc slides. So we were waiting in yeah. line for it. And it was like a big pool party and no one was in the pool. Yeah. And I told him, what if I jumped in the like pool? cannonball? Yeah. Who's ready to party? <laughs> then nobody follows you. Nobody cheers. Just me. <laughs> oh my God. So oh, man. funny. It was like hell in here. <laughs> Call me fire along. <laughs> Oh man, too many bits to count. I know. All right, friends, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. Please stay on the lookout. Someone said that they taught their daughter to say yes while she's picking up her toys. That's yes. pretty iconic. Um, if we're trying to figure out what the next topic's going to be, but you'll for sure see it on our Instagram. So make sure you look out for that. If you liked this version, you can stream this podcast everywhere. You can listen to podcasts. And the video version is always on the YouTube channel. But other than that, we hope you had a great week. And we love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, and he did get that from Paul. Huh, I'm wow. Paul. Iconic. I confirmed. <laughs>